Hey guys, 1977 Logan here. Just uh, received my uh, FedEx uh, shipment of uh, designer zoanthids, I'll call them, from Jason Fox. Uh, I did cut the box open, haven't looked inside yet. Appears to be uh, packaged in foam. Nice thick foam box. The uh, heating pads are, are still warm. Let's see if I can use this little thing here to show the heating pads are at about 120 degrees, 119. So that's a good sign. Bands that it's icy and snowy and freezing cold here in Missouri. So uh, the uh, the newspaper on top is nice and warm. Lots of paper. Lots of cushioning. Alright, so I'm pulling out the first bag here, and this looks to be uh, Christmas Zoes. And uh, can't really see in there real good, but I'm going to see if I can't get a temperature on the... On the uh, bag itself. About 67. So, that definitely need to be some uh, good acclimation going on. So, there are the Christmas Zoes. Here are the uh, ass monkeys. It's like a pretty good frag, pretty good plug with, I can't remember how many polyps that one is, I think six, two, four, six, eight, hell there might be ten or, ten or more on there, that's awesome. Um, wild watermelons, this was supposed to be a six, six frag plug, it is just absolutely, the plug's just covered, I mean I, I don't even know how many polyps are on there, way more than six. Way, way more than six. I have to count them when they open up. So far, wow. Really, really impressed. Um, reverse Gorilla Nipples, again. I uh, thought it was only like six polyps. And just by looking, definitely more than six. Definitely, definitely. And uh, these should be the Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, yes, and uh, appears that there's more than more than the recommended poly or more than the amount of polyps that it said on this one too. I guess I should keep this in the camera, huh? Fruit Loops, awesome. So uh, these uh, these those are just amazing looking on his website. I've seen them in other, you know, in other people's aquariums. Awesome and. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting them acclimated, and when they open up, I'll get some more videos of them. But so far, I can say, wow, uh, packaged good, came warm, appears to be way more polyps than what what I actually uh, was expecting to get, so super stoked. I'm going to get these acclimated, then I'll get some more video for you later. Hey guys, 1977 Logan again. Um, I'm just going to give you a little... Uh, overview of, of what I'm going to do to uh, prepare these uh, new zoanthids for the tank. So uh, basically I've had them in there uh, in the sump floating for about half hour 45 minutes and uh, I'm using this cheap little digital thermometer deal. I think I picked it up at Menards for like nine bucks because it was on sale. I didn't know what I'd ever use it for but actually works pretty decent. When I uh, first took them out of the box I think they were 60 60 something and uh, I just pulled one of the bags up shine this on the uh, on the frag plug it's reading about 75 now so I'm going to uh, you know I wouldn't shine it right on the polyps or anything but point it at the frag plug that's better better uh, guess at, at what temperature it is than me just sticking my finger in there so that's kind of handy worked for for this application anyway so uh, I'm going to dip these uh, Zoes in Coral RX and uh, I've dipped some other corals in this and uh, I can't really specifically say that it 
uh, you know, kept anything alive or did anything other than maybe remove some pests, which is what what I'm really actually trying to accomplish. I doubt there's anything on these frags, but you never know, so I'm going to dip them. Ingredients on this, of course, shake the bottle. It calls for four capfuls or 20 milliliters in a uh, in a uh, one in one gallon of your of your salt water out of your tank. So I uh, I had some extra salt water made up. I took a gallon out of my tank, uh, put another gallon back in of fresh fresh mixed stuff to make up what I took out. Uh, I, I keep these on hand too. These are like big farm farm type syringes. That I, I buy them at at the local farm store. They're cheap. Um, like a dollar something and uh, I'm constantly using them. Matter of fact every time I'm in there I just buy a couple more because I'll use one for something and think I shouldn't use it again I'll pitch it and I just constantly I use these for everything from target feeding to you name it but so I drew up 20 mils uh, squirted it in shook my jug up real well uh, my plan is I'll I'll put each frag in these cups and I'll put enough water that they came with to submerge them. And then I'll add in the coral R R Coral RX and my tank water about about that much again water. So I've got half their water, half my water. And I think it calls for on this bottle it calls for a uh, 5 to 10 minute dip. And so what I'll do is I'll wait I'll wait 5 minutes and I will pour out half that water and again fill it back up with the core rx and my tank water so what i'm doing is basically trying to acclimate them to my tank water and and dip them at the same time and it may may be a little fast but i've done this with frags in the past and i don't i don't think it's going to cause an issue after i've uh after i've uh completed the 10 minute dipping process i will take these take the frags out of these cups i'm going to set up five more and and fill them up with uh my tank water I'll go ahead and stick each frag in that cup then for another five minutes just kind of rinse and then rinse them off in the cup and then I'll add them to the tank so I'm gonna try to piece all these videos together in the end and uh, uh, that'll be all for this one later okay guys 1977 Logan back again for the uh, final time tonight the uh, frags are all in the tank of course my camera is not gonna do these things justice but fruit loops that was only supposed to be like two or four polyps these are the reverse there we go now we're getting some good lighting some good shots of them real nice greens and oranges purple skirts the uh, fruit loops are just really killer. Can't stay focused on them. Uh, these are the uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas, those really cool. I think these are wham and watermelons. <laughs> They're real nice. A lot of polyps on that. I think I think there was only supposed to be six. That, it's a half a frag disc, and it's just covered. These, I don't know, maybe the ass monkeys. Real cool. So basically, five, uh, two, four, five sets of new Zofrags. I'm going to leave them on the sand bed for a while. And, uh, and then I'll start moving them around in the tank. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a shot of, shot of the uh, new Zos later.